Oh, ho, my hearties. Here we go, Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure. I just had to pop away there because we were uh, approaching the hour, you see. Approaching the hour. So I, what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd pop away just now and then we'll pop back up and we'll have a wee chat and just have a bit of a catch up. Because I think during lockdown, I mean, what else do you really want to do? Do you know what I mean? So there we are. So loads and loads of likes. That would be fantastic. If everybody can follow me. That would be absolutely fantastic as well. So there we go. Tremendous stuff. And you should be able to see it popping up back for you now. And then we can get on with the chip chat. That's it. The old chip chat with the CH. Fantastic stuff. Yes, as usual. 385 Dinky Do. There we are. Thanks for sending us likes. Very, very much appreciated. And thanks for telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Get the word out there. Tap the screen, I say. And then we know what is what. There we are. Wonderful. Excellent stuff. Welcome back. If you've just joined us, Dinky Do. So there we are. Just had to pop away because you're better doing an hour. It makes it easier if we have to do any editing work and things like that. You know, so what I thought I'll do, just a little bit at a time. Hi, this is Minnie. Hello, Minnie. Lovely to have you with us. Absolutely. And dinky do. Yes. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. I've just thought of something funny. I'll tell you about it in a little bit. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Very well, Minnie. Thank you for asking. Very much appreciated. Kira's joined us. Fit like Scotty. Ah, Nusp. Lovely to have you with us, Nusp. And there's A-Ban. Guys, if you can all follow me, that would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Nice hat, says Kieran. <coughs> <coughs> we like to give you the best, Kieran. Do you know what I mean? I think it's very important that everybody has the best. Fantastic stuff. Scotty, hello from Oman. I know Oman very well, the Sultanate of Oman. Hello, Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, you can get a tour of the house. You're seeing it all, Fridge Finder. That's it that way. It's a bed sit, you see, and I'm sitting on the bed. And I'll put this down, and there's my music, and that's it. So there you are. So, would you rather fight a 12 foot pigeon? Or a great Dane-sized rhino. I wouldn't like to fight either. I'd rather fight sleep. <laughs> the man, the myth, Scotty McClure. Mind your radio shows years ago. Chrissy, wonderful stuff. Where's the fridge? The fridge is down the bottom there. It's cool. It's really cool. Hi, Scotty. Hope all's good from Belfast in Ireland. Lovely to have you with us, Rogie Bear. This is great, says Kieran. Are you enjoying it, Kieran? We're just having a wee chat during lockdown. You know, where's where's the problem with that, I see? Can we see the fridge? Oh, you're a fridge finder. Absolutely. And you'll be wondering, it's one of the very, very old ones with the compressor running. You know, that sort of idea. There's Samantha Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Guys, can everybody tap, tap, tap on their screen to let people know that Scotty McClure is live? Just for you, Dinky Doo. Show us the fridge. Fridge finder, enough. No spamming. So there we go. Jordan Dinky Doo. Wonderful stuff. Now, who have we got here? Rogi is sending us likes. Guys, if you can all follow me, that would be tremendous. Lots of folly. And thanks. Send me lots of hearts and giggles and emojis. All that stuff. Emojis. Uh, yes, this is so cheery. Well, Kieran, why not? Because the news is so blooming and depressing. You get down and down and down. And everything is about sadness and all that, and we need to have joy. Say hi to Georgia. Dinky do, is it Georgia on my mind, or is it Georgia as in a person, a lady? Scotty, how do you feel about Land Rovers? Well, I love them. You know, I've been with Land Rover for 26 years. I'm starving, Scotty. Can you make me a wee jammy piece and fling it through the windy? I will.
That's it, Happy School. Our day, our doorstepper and jam. We are better cheese as well. Fantastic stuff. Scotty, can we pray for the Wolves goalkeeper tonight? We can, D10. Yes, indeed. So there we are. And uh, I hope you have a great day. So there we are. Say hi to James, please. Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty. Uh, hello, Deeks. Yes. Uh, no, I haven't ever considered. So there you are. <laughs> what an interesting idea. There's Deeks. Good evening, Scotty. Have you ever considered homosexuality? Do you mean, have I ever considered what it is or what it's about or something? Or have I considered it? I don't think. I don't think it's a lifestyle choice from what I hear. So there we are. What does dinky do mean? Uh, dinky do means it's all well with you and the world. That's what it means. Uh, there, why is everybody so obsessed with asking, have you ever seen the still game? I've answered a million times. I think I'll ignore things like so. People say, have you ever seen still game? Can I get a shout out to with like a cheeky word? Um, I think I'll just ignore all that. Yes, absolutely. It's all, it's all just a script that people are running. So there we are. Shout out to Jordan B. No problem at all. Hi to Ethel, says Drig. So there we go. Um, yes, Emily, you see, you asking all that, that's just rhetorical stuff. I mean, who's going to turn around and say no? Do you know what I mean? Very, very strange question. So, guys, if you're asking about BLM and all that. Nobody's going to say no to that. So just don't bother taking up your time. Ask interesting questions. Ignore all the Celtic Rangers comments too. There's only one team in Scotland and it's Greenock Morton. Right, I'll make a note of that. Greenock Morton. Mon the ton. Uh, Scott, uh, have you ever owned a Burberry shirt? Oh, yeah. Uh, so they are. Opinion on Taylor Swift. Love her music. Outstanding. Another prize winner there. Fantastic stuff. Guys, don't be asking about personal names. There. Hello, my friend. Hello, Warwick. Lovely to have you with us again. And dinky do. Can everybody follow me, please? Very, very important if you can follow me. I'm just going to check uh, what's going on here. That's lovely. And then I'll be able to show you that you're watching Scotty McClure. <laughs> First floor to the internet, live on TikTok, dinky do. Follow, like, and share, and enjoy all the videos. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Guys, thank you for sending me presents, diamonds, gifts, all these things. There's another one, dogs, is asking people's religion. Nobody's interested in answering all that because the next person will just ask the same question. So we'll ignore all that as well. Right, we're learning, we're learning, guys. We're building TikTok's top stream here. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Ruben, thank you for sending all these lovely gifts. Big boy, daddy, thank you very much. How do you access the gifts? Lots of people have sent me gifts and I can't see them. Scotty, you cheer everyone up every time you're on. Keep up the good work, my friend. Rookie Bear, uh, it's a bit like if I was an athlete and I was going out for a run. If you're a broadcaster, the least you can do is pop on and cheer the people up, for goodness sake, if you get a really good platform. And TikTok is an excellent platform. You have a great beard, says Kieran. I thank you, Kieran. Scotty, can you please send best wishes to my friend? He's poorly. He's not well today. I can, Mohammed. Yes, indeed. What's your favourite meat on a Sunday roast? Oh, the roast beef. We love the roast beef. When I was broadcasting, I used to walk round to a carvery. And I think it was about four quid or something. A beautiful roast beef dinner. <laughs> Opinion on blue jumpers? Well, everybody loves a blue jumper, you know. I've only got a couple of dozen of them, so you'll only see me in one maybe all the time. Uh, 5K, Scotty. 5K, that is lovely, John. I thank you. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do, says David. Dinky do. Are you sending me 5K? <laughs> That's a marvelous beard, my friend, says Jack. 
Jack, that's very kind of you to say so. Very much appreciated. Scotty, have you ever considered creating your own cult? Perhaps the cult of the dinky, the dinky doodeeks. That's what we want. People say, so wait a minute. Are you one of these dinky doers with that Scotty McClure that everybody talks about all the time till we're blue in the face, till we're blue in the nose? I'm enjoying the accent, old bean. Alphonse, we like that. Thank you, old bean. There we are. Disco Pete is always sending me gifts. Disco Pete, you feature in one of the videos about the fallout from the Harry and Meghan interview. And in the middle of explaining something, I say, Disco Pete, thank you very much for that. So have a look at that. There we are. Deeks is going to join. Yob's going to join. Never talk about politics or religion, a no-no on live chats. But, Jax, I wouldn't say a no-no, but we don't want to bore people. And most of the time, somebody that's wanting to talk about politics and religion doesn't know anything about it. I have discussions about Her Majesty the Queen, and they go, hey, it's time for the monarchy to go, and they don't know the first thing about it. They don't understand it's a huge asset to this country. You ask me where I'm from, Calgary, Alberta in Canada, next to the Rocky Mountains. Do you know that I had, Doodle, um, a cousin went out to Calgary, Alberta and started a bakery? So there we are. Absolutely fantastic. His name was McInnes. So there we are. Best TikToker I've ever seen, says Kieran. I thank you, Kieran. I would like to think we can make this one of the finest TikTok lives that's on the go. I remember listening to you 25 years ago on Scott FM doing the night shift. Ah, David, these were the days. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour. There is no doubt about that. I'm half Scottish. Top half, bottom half, left half, right half. There we are. I love when people say I'm half this. So there we are. Um, and we had a carvery tonight. So there we are. Yes, of course, Ross. You and your football. Evening from Tain. I love Tain. Oh, the Tain. What a top place that is. Yes, up at Bewley, in the Bewley Firth. Roast beef for roast lamb. Roast beef, I'm a roast beef man, Jakes, I think. Yes, with lots of onion gravy and lots of vegetables and a big Yorkshire pudding. Woo! Stop! <laughs> oh, fantastic. Dinky Do is my religion. Scotty McLean is my god. So, D10, D10, you're very, very kind. There we are. Ross is laughing. D10 sending a message. Are you Scottish? Says Cleeks. Um, yes, I think there's a bit of a Scot in me somewhere. Chicken's got no taste. Turkey's too dry. I don't go for the turkey, actually. So, there we are. God, blimey. What's going on, lad? Well, we're talking live to you, Finn. Scotty, have you heard? Uh, yes, we've heard about all that. That's politics. We're not doing politics. Politicians. Completely agree with Scotty's son. Roar for me. I went into the doctors. He said, what's wrong? I said, my throat's a bit sore. He said, I'll have a look down. He went, ah, yes, a little roar. I went, ah. <laughs> Love will save the day, Scotty. Save it, James, always. You should come to Vancouver, better weather. Stop light pollution. We'd love to come to Vancouver. I've got a cousin in Victoria. Scotty, would you rather open a bakery or a pet shop? Oh, Deeks, you've got me there. McClue's pies, you see, so there's history there. Yes, absolutely. You're full of beans, lots of energy. Well, absolutely, Jax. Why not, I say. There's somebody else. My mum's half Scottish. Excellent. So there we go. Uh, Ert, what we'll do with you, Ert, is say bye. Bye to Ert. Can everybody shout bye, Ert? 
There we go. That's it. He's gone. Uh, I had roast beef yesterday, a Mother's Day treat. Very, very nice. Very nice. You can't beat a bit of the roast beef. There we are. Absolutely. The smoked beef. There we are. And the ham, the ham shank is fantastic as well. And the lamb shank. There we are. Zao pow. There we are. Han ho. There we are. I'm aiming for roughly 37 tons. What is it you're talking about? I said, are you losing weight? Um, so there we are. And uh, I'm half Scottish and half Catalan from Catalonia. Catalonia, yes. <coughs> All of me is Scottish except my heart. That's Catalan. Can you smile? I want to photograph you. Of course I can. Did you get a wee photo there? Fantastic stuff. Uh, my second name comes from Scotland as well. Yes, so does mine. Absolutely. Yes, it's what it's all about. You are a geezer, says Jimmy. I'm a geezer, Jimmy. Thank you, know. Hello from Northern Ireland. Hello, Northern Ireland. We love you very much in Belfast or Armagh or County Down. Where are you in Northern Ireland? I'm asking. So there we are. Gary, go and grow up, please. Do you vote Conservative? Um, no, I vote whatever's best for my country at the time. So I'm a floater. A floater voter. Uh, so should Catalonia be an independent country, Scotty? Breathtaking views. However, uh, well, I don't know enough about their setup. I know about Scotland's setup. You should shake it up and do a live from the kitchen. We can watch you rustle up a wee dish. Happy school? Yes, I might. I might show you how to do that. You know, so you would pull the ring, pull on the can, and tip it in. Now, I like a little bit of water. You could use milk. Shake it around the can. Put that in the pot as well. Now, turn on your gas. Turn your gas on uh, up to about gas mark three here. And if you've got, uh, say, a wooden spatula or a wooden spoon or a spurtle, then just give everything a nice stir and you'll see it start to just gently bubble around the side. Make sure it doesn't boil now. Then what you do once it's all at the same temperature, we bubble around the side, uh, switch off your gas, take your pot, pour it into a nice bowl and that's you got your chicken soup out of a tin. There we are. Tomorrow, I'll teach you how to do chili con carne with two-minute rice in the microwave. <laughs> Shall we do that? Buy it. Yeah, it's gone. There's one of our Russian friends there saying, Dosvidanya, Previat and Dosvidanya, Henry VIII. Absolutely. Do you speak Russian? Says Hama. What have I just said to you, Hama? I said to you, Previt, and then I said, Dos Vidania. Where's your accent from? I'm from Aberdeen. Kelly, Faberdeen myself, and I'll tell you this, Quaint, uh, there are a good kind of folk here, and we're enjoying ourselves. We had a rowie earlier uh, for, for our tea, and oh, it was bra. Uh, could you give a proper shout out? Yes, I can. I love people's TikTok names. Some of them Gavan. If they're a bit too near the knuckle, then they get binned off. Absolutely. I won £20 on a bingo scratch card so I could treat my mum now. Say, well done, Jax. Absolutely. I, right, wait till I tell you this, it's really exciting. Uh, I did the lottery on Saturday night, the Euro Millions, and I was only five numbers away from winning. Is that not amazing? Do you vote Conservative? Here's another one. No, you mustn't assume everybody's like yourself, Matt. All right, people have different views. Uh, Mazda, I most certainly could never, ever say anything. Can we shout bye to Mazda, guys? He's going. Bye, Maz. There we are, fantastic. Fantastic. There we go. That's Maz gone. He'll not be bothering us again. 
Please smile, Scotty. I thank you. Stop light. Scotty, by no means is it an exaggeration when I say you are my hero. Ross, you'll say very, very nice things. Thank you. Guys, can you all follow me, please? And can you tap your screens? Can you subscribe to Scotty McClue YouTube channel? That's all you need to do. Just put it in to your search engine. And where's your accent from? Oh, it's from all over the place, Kylie. I've walked all over the place, you see. And uh, also, if you're on Twitter, follow me at Scotty McClue. Over 4,000 people have already done so. The Scotty McClue website, over 10 million have done so. There we are. So fantastic. Way, hey, Scotty. Scotty, how are you? We're fine, Brory. Nice to have you with us. Northern Ireland doesn't exist. D10. News flash. Very much does. Since 1922. There we are. When the six counties were annexed. Ulster is not Northern Ireland. Ulster is eight counties. Watch Scotty McClure's St. Patrick's Day video. I just uploaded it to TikTok today. Uh, what do you think about Ireland beating Scotland Six Nations? <coughs> I've got a bit of a soft spot for all the rugby teams. So there we are. Almo, you need to grow up. Can you cook a curry? Oh, yes. I put an apple in my curries. Mm. What about that? So there you go. Dinky do, says Jake. Nine counties in Ulster, big man. Nine. What's the other one, Annie? I know there's eight. You give us a wee list of them all. Still don't want a pint, you old geezer. No thanks, you old geezer. Uh, can you say hi to me? It would mean a lot. Uh, call me Elizabeth. Right, no problem at all. There we are. Guys, don't do the silly stuff. Won't happen, all right. So see the lights of Stephen there. Not happening. All right, none of that caca will I get involved in. So all the wee trolls need to just go away. The dirty wee middens. Uh, what one bit of advice would you like to give about life? Enjoy being you. Remember if somebody as I go at you, they wish they were you. Remember to stay fabulous. Remember you are a terrific person. When uh, you're doing something, always say, I can and I will. And say to yourself when you're about to do it, this is the moment and I am the one. And then get on with it and you will be successful. How do I know this? I've done it. But don't tell anybody because I'm about to do it again. <laughs> Sounds a good idea. An apple and a curry. I'll try it out. No, Jax, don't take my advice on what you put in your curries. All I'm saying is it worked for me. So there we are. We popped it in to a little bit of oil, soften the onion. Yes. And then uh, in went uh, the apple afterwards, a little bit of softening, and then off we jolly well go with the rest of it. Ulster's nine counties. Right, I need a list of them all, Annie, because I had it at eight. There we are. But Northern Ireland, six. Now, Stephen, so shall I ban Stephen, guys? Yeah, I think we'll just ban him. Because he's not thinking. Right, Stephen, you're getting banned for being silly. Okay. Block, 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 block. That's it. Stephen's gone now, so we won't get any more of his nonsense. This is not for you. Good for you, your life. You're just telling him straight there. Um, Richie, are you married to a male female? Ooh, I don't think she'd like being called a male female. Ooh. Rather you than me. That's amazing. Scotty, surely we deserve to see you eat a raw onion on camera. Well, I mean, you you know, I, I'm talking closely to you. You'd be getting the smell, smell of onions off them. Oh, onion breath. Uh, so they are being Scottish is superior. Superior to what? Live life to the full. You never know what's around the corner. Well, you don't. 
So there you are. You do not know what's around the counter. Uh, what's around the counter? <laughs> Any advice to cure constant sadness? Yes. Watch as many Scotty McClue videos as you possibly can until you are weak with joy and laughter and every single bit of dinerism has left you. There we are. Scotty! Fantastic. Don't let people get at you. Hold your head up high. Hold your head up high. And don't be afraid of the dark. And you'll never walk alone. I uh, see when you put an apple in a curry. Was it the core ingredient? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We changed its name. I said to somebody, do you fancy coming round for an apple some night? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have an apple and rice. <laughs> you kind of look like Santa. Look, of course I look like Santa. I am Santa. Hello from Nigeria. We love Nigeria. Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. What was the answer to the four facts the other night? Three facts, right? Are you going to get this right, guys? Hello from Canada. We love it. Zeno, want to go for a pint, Scotty? No, Zeno, I don't drink um, alcohol anymore. So there we go. Now, Pumpkin, I think we'll just dump you as well. You haven't got it either. Pumpkin's going, guys, because he's a dafty. Say bye, Pumpk. Bye, Pumpk. He's got to get home before he turns into a coach and horses. <laughs> See what I just did there? <laughs> oh, wonderful stuff. So there we go. Now, guys, if you're going to put anything silly on, you're just, it's not for you, this. This is quality on here, and you're obviously not used to quality, and that's why you're a wee troll. Then what made you stop drinking? Ross, it was purely a, a calculation. One, because it was high from New Zealand, young man. Hi, Jace. Um, it was purely a, what do you call it, a decision I made, and... Uh, I was trying to work out when I could drive after I'd had some cider the night before at Christmas. And uh, when would I be able to drive? So I sort of worked it out and I thought, when would I be able to drive? And I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to stop all this and then I can drive any time I like and I can pass any tests and what have you. And that's what I did because... I'm around a lot late at night because of the work I do. And uh, the police think, aye, aye, won't see you up to at this time of the night. Just to get stopped all the way on the way home from the radio. So I finished at one o'clock in the morning. And sometimes I would stay on to do some work. So I was very often driving about maybe 3.30 in the morning. And the police would think, aye, aye, what's he doing out at 3.30 in the morning? Well, what with him? <laughs> there you go. Have you ever been to Fife? I know Fife like the back of my hand. Which part are you fee? You banger, says David. David, you banger. There we are. That's the most posh Scottish accent I've heard. Then you get the Livy Boys. That's pure Scottish. Absolutely brand on. So a pure Scottish man. <laughs> Uh, Scotty, I fish in Aberdeen, the whole of the wall, great sea fishing. Absolutely lovely part of the world up there, gangs. Aberdeen, you give a shout out, yes. Now, uh, what does haggis taste like? Oh, outstanding, you need to taste it. It's difficult to describe. So there we are, there's David. There we are, you're a wise man, says Jack. Jack, I do my best. I work on acquisition of knowledge and understanding all the time. And apparently this is one of the top TikToks on TikTok. This is TikTok talk. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just proved a tremendous success. We've only been doing it a couple of weeks, I would say. Would you say that, folks who are regulars? A couple of weeks on here, we've popped up for a wee chit-chat just to say hi to all of you. And, uh, and that's what we do. We have a wee chit-chat. And uh, it works out very, very well, I say. <clears throat> and I think that during lockdown, people like to uh, to just have a chat, something different, and very positive. We don't do any negativity. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> we frog in my throat. Are you on Sky? 
Hey, I'm not on Sky, no. What do you think of Ireland? Lots of love from her. I adore every blade of grass in Ireland. Do you see behind me that lovely Labrador? That was Lord Reith. He and I went swimming in Galway Bay one morning, and it was fabulous. We were the only people on the beach, and he swam out to meet me. Stephen says, do you remember Glenn Michael's cartoon Cavalcade? Yes. Guys, can you follow me, please? Can everybody follow Scotty McClue? Because we're short on followers. You know, plenty of viewers, but not the followers. OMG, caught me off guard there. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Caden. Absolutely. Uh, so there we are. Okay, Caden, you're spamming now. That's it. We got the message. <coughs> Have you ever been to Hamilton? Uh, oh, Hamilton. I used to work in Hamilton. I ran the radio station in Hamilton. Scotty, you're well hydrated, my friend. Yes, Tonya. We like to hydrate. Uh, Scotty, we'll mutiny you unless you join the revolution against the monarch. It's no revolution against the monarch. You'll be put in the jail deeks. You'll be carted off. There were you never, ever, ever mess with the monarch. You never mess with the crown. So there you are, because that's our symbol of authority. And it is absolutely axiomatic. <coughs> can you say there's a moose loose about those hoose? I can, fantastic. This is a Scottish accent, says Mitchell. Thank you, Mitchell. It'd be easier to learn, read, solve, and reinvent quantum physics before we get Yes, indeed. Where is my fine man situated, Mitchell? Your fine man is situated in Glasgow, the west of Scotland, with the Glaswegian accent. There we are. I love Megan's as bestie. Well, there you go. Um, you know, although I wasn't too impressed with all that stuff. Uh, do you think Deeks should be charged with treason? Well, he's kind of... He was just, I think he was seeing how far he could go, but he's been slapped doon. You know, hi, Scotty. George from Edinburgh. George, lovely to hear from you, you top man. Can I get an oh, yeah. Did you work in a bank? I did, Scottish Bam. Yes, fantastic. I worked in 36 branches, including head office. And there's two reasons for that. One was either you were very, very good at your job, or nobody could stand you, and I could never work out which one it was. <laughs> Are you a Tory? What is a Tory bestie? People have asked me that before. The crown will be melted for dope money. Viva, no. Deeks, what you don't know is we've tried this. Well, we haven't. But some absolute cowardly idiots decided to try doing without the monarchy. And they divided Charles I, a Scotsman, a Stuart, into a head and a body. And it just caused absolute chaos. And then they had to bring back the Regency and then the monarchy. So you had the absolute monarchy, <coughs> pardon me, you had the Commonwealth, the Regency, and the Restoration. Are you with me? So it's all been done before. <clears throat> so there you go. And uh, that's what it's about. So there we are. And what we might get, if you messed with the crown, you might find that absolute monarchy comes back and nobody would be touching any drugs because the crown forces would be out there. Can you disrespect the crown if you're oppressed by them for 800 years? Well, the Irish weren't actually oppressed, uh, to be honest with you. It was uh, a different setup, and there was a lot of miscommunication. But uh, the Irish have had a tough time. I think, in fact, the Irish crown is still about, and I think it still comes under the Union of the Crowns. I would check that out. Two truths and a lie. Oh, yes. <clears throat> so the two truths and a lie. Can you tell me, please? Can you share all, share this live, share all the videos, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 
Thank you. And uh, also, can you subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and uh, follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClure. Thank you. So the two truths and a lie, crab fishing. Right, so what you're dealing with here, three. Number one, I used to own a shopping center outright. No board, no directors. Moi, Scotty McClure's Shopping Centre. wasn't called that, but I owned it <clears throat> as an investment, right? Number two, I conducted one of the world's top orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. All right? Number three, a pilot had to re-trim the aircraft when McClue got in it because of his 18 stone of solid muscle. And I'll prove it to you, look. There's my arm muscle, look at the size of that. And I can't get my hand round it. I can't even get my thumb round, see it? There you go. And that's McClue's arm muscle. Solid, solid muscle. So there you are. And the pilot had to re-trim the aircraft. Right, so two of these are true, and one is a screaming whopper. <laughs> Which one? Sing a song, says Amy. No, I'll play you a song on the uh, squeeze box. <clears throat> squeeze box. There's the squeeze box. I'll give you a wee tune of the squeeze box while you're working out the two truths and a lie. Okay. <laughs> box right have you worked out the two truths and a lie let's get working here so there we are we want to hear your singing voice you'll hear it it's all on the tiktoks yes absolutely so look at the tiktok videos fantastic greetings from sterling dance with your granny so there we are lmao lol Opinions on Boris Johnson. OMG, you're fantastic, says X Brook. Uh, sing, the only way is up. You're amazing. Thank you, X Brook. You're very kind. So, I want to hear the man sing. If he doesn't know what a Tory is, he's not Scottish. Oh, so are, is everybody in Scotland a Tory then? Right, I hadn't realised the Scots are all Tories. Nice wee bit of our history right there. The days are long gone, Scotty. The monarch's finished. Long live the Republic. No deeks. You're missing the point. The monarch is never, ever, ever, ever finished. Can you get this into your head? And you're a clever man, deeks. So I, I won't say get this into your thick head. So there we are. You're a clever man. And um, the monarch is never, ever, because... The raison d'etre for the monarchy, never mind all the trimmings and, uh, you know, all the wonderful things, that the wonderful work that they do, leave that aside. The raison d'etre for the monarchy is to curate and be the custodian and the keeper of the crown. Yes, and the crown is our symbol of authority. So you will get your republic when all the rocks melt with the sun and all the seas gang dry. Right, we've had a monarchy in Scotland for 2,347 years. There are 38 kings, Scottish kings, 
buried in Iona, along with John Smith, the Labour politician. Amy, what nonsense are you talking? Amy says, I've never heard someone talk so much, and she uses a rude word. Amy, what you mean is you've never been in the presence of people, right, like everybody else on here, that talks a very high level of truth. You see? So that's your problem, Amy. All right? Once, uh, once you realize you'll see what's coming. So, Deeks, you can whinge and moan as much as you like, but you've got to realize it will never, ever, ever, ever happen. You're living under the big toadstool at the bottom of Dingley Dell. <laughs> Fantastic. And that's it. Who are you, mate? Fine, thanks. Who's yourself leading? Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. So there are 500 days until the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, in Brum. Absolutely, Jax. Uh, Leiden, I am the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. And we're live on TikTok just for you, dinky do. Have you ever been to Rothsey, a smashing wee pub at the ferry terminal? Oh, Rothsey's beautiful. Have I ever been to Rothsey? I was on the crew of the boat that went down in 1969 to pick up Johnny Beatty and the Alexander brothers from Rothsey. There we are. And that little boat was called The Irish Were Oppressed and Murdered. Well, every day you could say was oppressed, Dave. You need to get all these chips off your shoulders. Yes. <clears throat> God says... Did he just say the Irish weren't oppressed? No, I think you're forgetting the Irish uh, controlled the world, right? Everybody is originally an African via Ireland. So you've got to know your history. Yes, yes, of course there were problems. And of course, uh, you know, Ireland suffered but so did the rest of the world. So there you go. You've got to put stuff in context. I just managed to see the famous video with my mention. It took me 20 minutes to find it. Disco Pete, did you get it? Fantastic. Right in the middle of a very, very serious chat. And Disco Pete gets a mention. Disco Pete. <laughs> now, Disco Pete, that's what I love about these lives. We don't stand on ceremony. So we can be right up the very top of society, talking sense. And, uh, you know, I mean, that lassie there that was going, oh, never heard so much rubbish. Yeah, a Scottish bam, you're quite right. Amy, why don't you leave, dear? Because you're way out your depth on here. Opinions on the Conservative Party, very interesting. You've got to look at the background to it. Go way back to the Victorian time, Sir Robert Peel. You see, and in those days, the liberals were the ones, you know. Queen Victoria got on very well with Benjamin Disraeli. She liked Disraeli because he was a flatterer. You know, she didn't like uh, W.E. Gladstone, who was a big Scotsman, you know, from Fask up there at Brechin. <laughs> Edsel, Edsel. Scotty, the Irish were treated horribly. Yes, they were, but everybody was treated Horribly. And the Irish have the guts to leave the shocking crown. Deeks, there's nothing shocking about the crown. We're talking nowadays anyway. Of course, in days gone past, but you need to be contextual. You see? You need to be contextual. I need to see where everybody else lived. Share this live if you want to fall asleep. Amy, yes, you pop off to sleep, dear, because you will never, ever, ever understand what we're talking about here. So there we are. And uh, that's the stuff. So there we are. <laughs> Leiden, if you need that explained, you're in the wrong place. Absolutely, Yob. Good for you. There we are. There's Jack. Jack will dump you, I think, actually, because you're daft. There we are. Another daft, eh? Jack's biting the dust. Boy, Jack. There we go. Fantastic. Right. You like talking about yourself, don't you, big man? Amy, of course I do. Everybody loves talking about themselves. That's the whole purpose of the talking. Everybody can come on and talk about themselves. 
And we're talking about you at the moment, so even you have scored big time on here. Well done, my dear. A man of many talents. Absolutely. I love British people. Zach's Don. Uh, you look like Ronnie from the Dubliners. Thank you, George. So there we are. Now, who have we got? You're so strong, says Steve. Well, Steve, we have to take a grip in this day and age. You know what I mean? We can't just lie back. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Jack is obviously a Christian man, and he's asked, he's got a question for Jesus Christ here. And he says, Jesus Christ, you couldn't bench 10 kg. I don't think 10 kg existed, Jack, when Jesus was on earth the first time. I don't think so. I think it would be uh, things like denaries and um, mites and all that. Guys, what was the measurement? Would it be a firkin or would it be... Um, I'm just trying to think, when Jesus was on the earth 2,000 years ago, what was the measurement? Jack's wondering because he's talking about benching here. There we go. Fantastic. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. Now, who have we got here? Hang on. There's another dafty leaving us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> So that's fantastic. So there we are. Who else have we got here? Fantastic. Amy, you don't need to listen. You're an attention seeker. You didn't realize you're on live. You're quite right. Just tell these people. Hello, Turkish men. Hello, Turkey. We love you. Dinky do. Fantastic. Now then, who have we got? Two is a lie. So, George, you're saying that I owned a shopping center. The pilot had to retrim the aircraft when I was in it, but I did not conduct one of the world's greatest orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. Is that what you're telling me? Right, we shall see. Hello, sir, lovely tune. Did you like that? Your biceps are more like piceps. So there we go. Dolos, yes. You get some pie out of that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. So there we are. And uh, number three, you don't believe number three, Dolos. There we are. I have a Scottish tune on Spotify and iTunes. Peter, congratulations. We are very, very chuffed to hear that. Thank you for sharing. George from Edinburgh, remember McClure's Pies? We do. Beautiful song takes me back. Did you know which one it was? Scotty, you love these takeaways. Oh, Jack. Three is true, says Crab Fishing. I'm Irish, says Norman. Welcome, Norman. We love our Irish people. So there we are. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? Oh, biceps like Desperate Dan. I know it's a bit like Desperate Dan having a cow pie. So there we are. Fantastic. Um, now, what else have we got here? More tunes. Ah, Peter, more tunes. Another tune. I'll maybe give you a wee tune on the uh, pipe organ. So there we are. Fantastic. Uh, now, who have we got here? Oh, you guys are argy-bargying. There's a bit of argy-bargy going on. Fantastic. And uh, guys, can everybody follow me, please, and tap, 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 tap on your screen. Let's just take a minute to tap. Absolutely, that would be appreciated. <clears throat> I'll give you a wee tune on the pipe organ in a wee while. That's what we'll do. You'll get a tune on the pipe organ. There's my first EP, The Seekers. The carnival is over. Seven and sixpence. Fantastic. Did you get round to steaming the sprouts? I did. They were gorgeous. Does anybody else steam their sprouts? You didn't play me the tune. I'm the lad with the band, Joe. Kieran, I gave everybody a wee tune there. Yes, fantastic. But uh, I'll maybe give you a tune on the pipe organ. 
Uh, so there we are. Fantastic stuff. Lots of feedback here, guys. Well done. Now, remember, if you do get a critic popping up, they just don't know they're in the wrong stream. Yeah, I stream haggis. Aha. So there we are. Vinyl is superior to streaming. Uh, oh, vinyl. Well, we love vinyl. I think vinyl's coming back a lot of it, isn't it, actually? Remember the lovely big stereos? Um, good to see you back, Scotty, from Jimbo in Glasgow. Jimbo dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us, I say. Out comes the IPS. Now, that's a party. What's the IPS? Do tell us of the, the LPS. There we are. Or oh, the LPs. Got you now. Out comes the LPs. Now, that's a part. Remember LPs. Beautiful. 33 and a third. What does dinky-doo mean? Dinky-doo means it's all well with you and the world. How fantastic is that? Do you play any reels? Oh, yes. These were all real. Uh, do you have the Scottish World Cup song from 1978? We have a dream. Yes. Do you remember we were on the march with Ali's army? Can you potato sets planted out in an allotment garden in March? I don't know, Jex. I haven't grown tatties for a while. Uh, so there we are. hope you don't mind me asking a very important question, which could save lives if discussed. So there we are. Scotty, bring your wife on the streams. User 123, you need to grow up. Hello, Scotty. If the crown of the custodians, why wasn't the case in France or Germany? Well, it still is. You'll find that the royal families still exist. And the crowns, you see, Prince Albert, who was a very, very switched on guy, his uh, great desire was to have a United States of Europe, the one we've just been silly enough to leave, and the uh, United States of Europe, all headed up by crowned heads, the world leaders, you see. Shout out to Connor. So there we are, who are eating a cheeky fast food. I remember Percy Thrower in the Blue Peter Garden. I did Percy Thrower. My mother bought my father Percy Thrower's book. <laughs> and my father loved gardening. Love to Norway. Thozzy, we love Norway. My father was one of the liberators in 1944. Love you from Iraq. Dinky do Iraq. Welcome, welcome to our stream. Love Scotland. Showing my age up. Not all jacks. So there we are. Uh, LPs, I miss them. Yes, I've still got my LPs. Scotty, how do lassies get a council house? I think you'd have to fill in a form. Why do people say fill out a form when you're filling it in? I find that very strange. So there we are. Try again, we do. Uh, so there we are, just not where you are. Uh, have you got a Prince Albert? Oh, it's a beautiful waistcoat chain across your waistcoat with a wee seal on the end of it. That's your Prince Albert. Absolutely. I can't find St. Patrick's Day. Yes, it's there, Kieran. It's on Scotty McClure's um, uploads on the TikTok videos. Do you live near Buckingham Palace? No, but I know it very well. Yes, Buckingham Palace, fantastic. Uh, we we love that. Here we are, dishing them out. You know, we've got all this. Australia should become a republic. Well, I don't know, Peter, you see. I mean, Australia has done very, very well under the monarch with the Queen and the Governor General. That's the stuff. I would have been a good Governor General for Australia. Shout out to everyone in shots, please, Scotty. We love shots. Fantastic. I used to go to the Shots Highland Games. It was quite muddy, and it was in a ground where there was corrugated iron gates. Fantastic, the Shots Highland Games. And once you'd been in, they stamped your hand with a stamp that said Shots. And, of course, I love Shots and Dykehead Caledonia Pipe Band. Muirhead and Sons, Kilsyth Colliery. Have you got a colour gas fire, Scotty? No, but I used to have one in the flat that you could trundle about. It was really just a portable gas cylinder, and it was very good. The colour gas, yes, absolutely. Shout out to my best friend, Connor Love from Canada. YGG. 
We love you in Canada. I thank you. Who else have we got? So there we are, live from Iraq. Thank you, Harry. Very much appreciated. And dinky-doo. There we are. Cool, bro. Where are you from? We're from Scotland. So there we are. Okay, Manu. Okay, Manu. I see what you just did there. Very, very clever. So there we are. Shout out to my pal Tristan. Of course, my grandparents have all had the vaccine. Why do people ask if you watch still game? Is that one of these? Can I have that's TikTok for a long time? Uh, is have you watched still game? Is that one of these running scripts that people put in all the time? Cancelled the Highland Games and shots, so they did. I loved it. Shots Highland Games and shots and Dykehead Caledonia pipe band. I bought their LP with the Hills of Alva on it. I rushed to the shops to get it. There we are. Rangers won the league. It's uh, lies. So we're getting all this on here. Are you having a wee drink? Yes, a wee drink of the water. Do you like Lenin? Uh, well, he was a very interesting leader of Russia. You know, it's worth studying. You know, they took a cross section of his brain. Is a Lord Lieutenant a Lord or a kind of Lord? The Lord Lieutenant is the Queen's representative in the area. So if the Queen needed something um, to come directly from the Crown, she could ask the Lord Lieutenant. So there are very often the Lord Lieutenant is a retired senior military officer. Uh, maybe an admiral or a lieutenant general. Very often they are knighted or very often they are landed in the area. And it's quite a tough gig, Lord Lieutenant, because I think you have to pay for your own uniform and your own expenses. So it's an honorary position and you would be the LL. Or you could have a deputy lieutenant who's maybe a a senior partner in a law firm or something, and if there's crown business to be done, you might ask the DL to to do that. So there we are, fantastic. The Lord Lieutenant. Yes, and there's a list of Lords Lieutenant. See what I just did there? Not Lord Lieutenants, Lords Lieutenant. And they look after crown business in the area. So there we are, Saturday Rangers, Jamesy boy, go and see them both and make up your mind who you want to support. You look like Jack from Stogame. Well, that's it. Do you like the SNP? Yes, they seem to be doing a very, very good job. Uh, Still Games, the Scottish show on Netflix, it's hilarious. You should definitely watch it. I know it, I've asked. They think that the inspiration for Still Game may have come from Scotty McClure. Yes, that's why you all think I look like I'm from Still Game. There we are. I'm worried as my granny's due her vaccine. She's elderly, yes. What's your favourite colour? Well, I quite like blue and green and brown and red and uh, yellow and pink and blue. La, 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 la. Having my second shop in April the 6th, a key worker, no side effects, just a sore arm for two days. Right, Jinx. Well, Commonwealth Games in Birmingham 2022. So there we are. Lennon. Yes, interesting. Your granny will be fine. Pay attention to legitimate statistics. There we are. Sincerely, Scotland should investigate. There we are. Well, we don't have to. I mean, it's fantastic. You know, wonderful, wonderful first minister. Have you seen Alien? Um, I've had aliens come on here asking who I was. So you know they're from another planet. Definitely. Scotty, I'm absolutely stupid. <laughs> so there we go. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, Kevin. Absolutely. Hello from our mask, Scotty. You put me to sleep every night. Fantastic. I'm going live in Worcestershire, not far from Birmingham. Guys, I'm going to have to dash off. 
Take great care of yourselves. It's been lovely, lovely being with you. Thank you for watching the live stream. We'll pop up at some point tomorrow. Set your notifications. Please follow me. Subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClure. Every single one of you, you're beautiful, beautiful people. Stay fabulous. Stay fantastic. Have a lovely night. And... Uh, until we all meet again, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every one of you. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Join in. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery o. Till our last, take great care of yourselves. Dinky doo.